Hi and welcome to the Polybox. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use HDRIs in your scene without actually enabling GI in Cinema 4D. Normally if you if you put an HDRI in your scene and you don't have GI enabled, it only works on objects that have reflection in their material. And it doesn't actually light the scene in the classical sense. So, But there is a way around that. So for this purpose I've set up this uh, small sample scene here which just consists of a sky object, a couple of sample objects, and a background and a camera. And we have no GI in the scene whatsoever. We just set the renderer to physical pretty much. That's all we did. So if I render the scene now, it's going to be black. This is not a surprise. This happens every single time. But there is, as I said, a way around that. So let's just delete those materials. Delete those and just create a new material. And we are just going to disable the color channel now because we don't need it anymore, as you will see soon. So disable the color channel, go to reflectance, delete the default specular because it's stupid, and go to add and add a Lambertian diffuse channel. And now you can choose whatever color you want or texture, whatever floats your boat. We are just going to go with a juicy orange and put this on our objects in the scene. And just for a good measure, we're just going to create another material, disable color, go to reflectance, def delete the stupid default specular, add Lambertian, and put this to, let's say, 80% because there is no 100% white materials in real life and add this to the background. And now, if we render this, we are getting this. So what is happening here? Normally in cinema, the diffuse channel is kind of faked and only works with traditional light objects like these up here. What the reflectance channel does is actually providing a physically correct reflection. And this Lambertian channel is nothing else but a very, 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 very rough uh, reflection channel. Which means we can also work with different kind of reflections on top of it. And this is why it shows the HDRI, because it actually reflects it. Which the standard diffuse channel or color channel does not do. So if we want to spice this up a bit, let's just duplicate this material and add a Beckman layer. Get the Fresnel going, let's just take glass, add a tiny bit of uh, of roughness, go back to the color layer, the Lambertian layer, change the color to some juicy blue, and just put it on here. Now we have reflection on this, and we are going to give this reflection as well. Same, same stuff, Fresnel, dielectric, glass, but we're going to give 50% roughness here, just a bit more. And if we render this again, you can see there's actually DI going on in the scene because the light is bouncing around between the materials now because they are all reflective, which is TI without actually having GI enabled, which is a side effect of uh, what I just showed you, getting HDRIs to work without actually having GI enabled in your scene. So this is relatively slow. I mean, it's not really a thing or not really problematic because the standard render in cinema is slow anyways, but it gives really, really, really nice results. As you can see, the lighting is very, very natural and we can actually reduce the, uh, the amount of reflections in the scene with this simple parameter. This is basically your, uh, your diffuse depth like when you use GI, how many bounces you have. If we set this to, to one, we only have one light bounce. So it's only the first reflection of the sphere uh, of the HDRI and then nothing else is going on. So you see it looks unnatural now because the light only bounces once. But if we set it up again to like three, we get three bounces in the scene because it reflects three times and it already looks way more natural than before. See this? way 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 more natural but if we want to get something realistic i think at some point i read somewhere that the sweet spot between it actually does something to the scene uh, instead of just increasing render times is around 12. most of the time you can go lower and nobody is going to see it but i go 
I start with that value normally and then go down until I see a, a difference. You see here, there's not really, I mean, it's noisy as hell, but you can't really see a difference. So the good thing about this technique is it doesn't only work with diffuse materials. It also works with transparent materials. Just create a new material, enable transparency, give it 1.49 for glass, go into reflectance, disable default specular, disable color and give it to the pill in this case. And as you can see, we have a perfect transparent pill in the scene and it also has caustics. It's also creating caustics, which is because the light is actually bouncing around in the scene and it's not the cheap uh, unbiased caustics effect. So what we actually create with this uh, technique is an unbiased lighting scene inside Cinema 4D without enabling GI. And the caustics look really, really good. Again, as I said, it's pretty slow, but it's something to know. If you want something photorealistic coming from the standard Cinema 4D render, you will need this technique because it's just way more realistic. It's faster than having quasi Monte Carlo uh, GI in your scene bouncing around. And it's just, it's, it, it just looks good and it's easy to use. If you know what to do, it's very, very easy to use. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. I hope I could teach you something, thing or two. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, see you next time. See ya.